Let's draw the structure here for 2-methyl-2-butene. You'll also see this written as 2-methyl-but-2-ene. They both give us the same structure, so let's go with this one. First thing you'll notice, it ends in E-N-E. -E. So E-N-E, -E, that means we're going to have an alkene. We're going to have a double bond between two of the carbons. Bute, that means four. So we're going to have a chain of four carbons, and the two tells us the double bond will be on the second carbon. So let's put a chain of four carbons up and number them. So right now we have four carbons, all single bonds. These lines here, they go to hydrogens. So right now we have butane, which is an alkane. But we're looking at butene, that's an alkene. On the second carbon, we have that double bond. Let's put that in there. The thing is, each carbon can only be bonded to four things. This carbon here right now is one, two, three, four, five. Let's get rid of one of these hydrogens. And then here again, one, two, three, four, five. Let's get rid of a hydrogen here. We now have two butene. The methyl, methyl looks like this. The methyl substituent group, that's just CH3. So on the second carbon, we need to replace one of the hydrogens with a methyl group, CH3. So let's replace our hydrogen there and put the CH3 bonded in there like this. Let's move it down just a bit. And this is the structural formula for 2-methyl-2-butene. We have our main chain of four carbons. We have a double bond that starts on the second carbon right here. And then we have a methyl group that's also on the second carbon, 2 methyl 2 Butene. If you count up all the carbon and the hydrogen atoms to get the molecular formula, you end up with C5H10. So that's the molecular formula. You could also look at this in a more skeletal form like this. And this would be another way to draw the structural formula for 2-methyl-2-butene. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.